Okay, everybody, we are going to work on a Google slide deck to make our artwork today. So what's going to happen is I'm going to post a link in the chat. You will need to toggle over to the chat button and get that link and click on it. That's going to open up a new tab called face proportions. And what you're going to do is scroll down until you find a slide with your name on it. Oh, there's mine. We have EJ's, Jemai's, David's, Asiel, and Rebecca's. Okay, remember to work on your slide only. So I would come to the Miss Hill slide, and we've just watched a whole bunch of videos about proportion and where things go. So it'll be your job to build the face according to proportions. That's what I'm grading you on. So the first thing you want to start with are the eyes, and we know they're in the center of the face. You're going to pick which eyes you want. I like these for today. I'm going to drag those over, and I can decide do I want them bigger or smaller. And if you see those blue squares on each corner or each part of the shape, if you put your cursor over that so it changes from a plus sign to two arrows and hold your mouse button down and drag it, it's going to make it bigger or smaller. Okay. And you're also, I forgot to tell you, when you want to click on things, you'll put the arrow on top of it, hold the button down, and then move it back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to get my eyes in the center of the head where the eye line would be. And I think that's a good size. So next I would bring over the nose that I want. I feel like the nose is a little bit big, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. There we go. And then the mouth line is between the nose and the chin, so I'm going to grab a mouth off a smiling mouth and put that there. I might make it a little bit bigger. That looks about good. All right. So now that I have the parts of the face, I can add my ears. I know my ears go in between my eye and my nose line. This might be a little bit big, so I can shrink those a little bit, maybe move them down. And then I do the one on the other side, shrink it down. There we go. All right, so now comes the drawing part. I need to put a neck and shoulders and hair on my character. So. To do that, you would come up to the tool right here that says line and click that arrow. And there's a whole bunch of choices. You're going to come down to the scribble. Now to pick your color, think, actually I think you're just going to scribble first. So to do the neck, the neck comes down by the ears. So we're going to come down, out, and out. And now if you want to change the color, you could click on the line. And I think this changes the color. Yes, that can change the color. All right, so then I click again, squiggly line, scribble, and do the same, whoops, here we go, scribble. Come to where I wanna go with the plus sign and then drag it down to make my shoulders. Now if you do something you don't like when it's highlighted, you can just delete it. And then this arrow here is the undo button. You can always undo or redo things as you want, okay? So next I'm gonna think about the hair. And if you're not quite sure how to do hair, you can scroll up to one of these to get some ideas. I'm gonna do some pigtails like that. I wanna make it look like me. I like to wear pigtails sometimes. So I'm gonna to go to the scribble design and start with some scribble. Remember the hair, now, every time you lift it up, it's kind of annoying with the drawing tool. You have to go back and hit scribble again. And again, we're not trying to get this to be super perfect. It's really hard to draw on the screen. But I want us to see that you're able to do the parts in the correct place with the correct proportion. That's what we are getting graded on. <laughs> so I can also hit the scribble and color in parts. If I hold it down for a while and then let go. Oh, I don't know where it went. Let's try that again. Hold it down and then let go. There we go. I can change the color. Um, but again, color's not that important today. We're just kind of getting the proportions and I want to see if you could do that and that's what you'll be graded on. So give it a try. And when you're done, you'll click back over to the Blackboard tab. Or if you have a question, you click on the Blackboard tab and raise your hand and then unmute yourself.